Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Inebriant, episode 8. Decided to come on here and do a quick podcast because I'm about to head out to Seattle, Washington today. Up until this point in my life, I have been able to say that I haven't been west of Chicago, which I've been to Chicago twice, once. Way back in the day with an old friend back in high school or grade school, and then second, when I went out to Chicago to be an extra in Chicago PD, which was super badass. But tonight, flying out to Washington, and it's my first time out west, I'm super pumped about it, visiting family out there. So what have I been up to? I filmed a short film, I acted in a short film, it was called Oasis LX. Yeah, so I was a lead role in this short film called Oasis LX. I play the role of Lucas. He's an accountant, and it's a young married couple, and it's a really exciting story. I hope more people get to see that. I shot it over the course of 10 days. Haven't seen any of the final work of it. I've only seen the clips that we rewatched on set, which was really fun. And they had a transmitter that they hooked up to the camera, so we were able to watch back takes and then redo them and... It was actually really helpful because it allowed me to change my approach based on viewing the footage. So that was really cool. So that took up a big chunk of my time. I was filming that in in my free time after work on the weekends. It just started raining. I just got a new backdrop for self-tapes. So previously I would just record it against a wall. But now having the backdrop, I think it looks a lot more professional. I just had an audition yesterday, I believe, or the day before yesterday, I think. And it looks way better. It's a lot cleaner. It's not just that tan backdrop anymore. So, really like that. A lot of my walls in my apartments have been like that tan color. And I feel like it looks more professional when it's not obviously... An apartment wall <laughs> so but work's been going good at the ad agency settling in nicely to my place getting good at chopping up pineapples random fact but it's true so big brother season 25 just came out just watched the first two episodes i auditioned again this year didn't get any callbacks or anything so we'll try again next year The cast is super great, and I love the cast, so I'm really pumped to see who comes out on top this year. And it's the 25th, and they kept the prize at 750,000, which is more than the half a million that it used to be. And I feel like that's pretty sick, too. So the stakes are a little higher, for sure. Went and saw Oppenheimer and Barbie. Both were great films. I had Buddy's Pizza again for the first time in years. I think as a kid, you don't understand and appreciate pizza that's high quality enough. Like, then you become a college student and you're buying Domino's and frozen pizzas. And don't get me wrong, I love good Domino's pizza or frozen pizza. But you don't really spend the extra money on high quality pizza. And I did this time. And Buddy's Pizza and their bread, so good. Although... Their buddy brew, it's kind of citrusy. Not really my thing, but to each their own for sure. And buddy brew is brewed at Griffin Claw, which they have in Birmingham. So that's pretty sick. They got the big tanks you can see through the glass. So they brew it right down the street from me, which is pretty cool. I watched the movie Ex Machina because AI has been getting very popular and people are talking a lot about AI Mainly because of companies like OpenSea, not OpenSea, that's the the, the uh, crypto or whatever, but the company ChatGPT has been huge, so watched Ex Machina and it is really sick. So I highly recommend that film. It's really scary. I don't even want to spoil it, but highly recommend checking that out. I think it won an Oscar or something for special effects. Another thing I watched recently was Succession. I watched all four seasons of that over the course of probably like a month and a half, I think. It was my go-to show for a while, and that is an amazing story. And whoever wrote that was amazing. They are such a good and talented team of like writers, and the, the cast and the actors as well are just so good. 
I also watched the newest season of Black Mirror. I believe it's season five, whichever season came out in 2023. My favorite episode was the paparazzi one. I just loved the story and obviously things about the entertainment world and Hollywood are always really fascinating to me. A lot of good episodes, though. I really did like also the one about the two filmmakers. And I don't even want to spoil anything again, but that was a great show as well. Been training for the Detroit Half Marathon that I'm running in October. Currently, I've gotten my mileage up to seven. I should probably be going out there more frequently. I really want to beat my time from the half marathon I run back in 2019. For sure, that's one of my biggest goals is just beat my old time. Before I forget, there was a moment I wanted to document during the filming of Oasis LX. I was on a raft in a lake in Bloomfield Hills. I can't. I think it was Green Lake, yeah. I was on a raft. There was a camera in my face. I was just looking up at the sky between takes, and a plane was going by. The sun was setting. It was getting late. We were running out of time. And I was just looking up at a plane, and I was like, this is why I like acting so much, because it's so you have all these novel experiences, these things that are totally random. And you're like, the the chances of me ever being in a situation like that just on a raft with and looking up at the sky with the plane going by and we're acting this scene and having a lot of fun and just the different people new friends that I met like people that I hadn't wouldn't really cross paths with that's what I like is the controlled chaos of a film set and the novelty that comes along with that in that moment I realized that and it solidified that that idea that I've had I kind of I like to break down why I like certain things or what what it is that drives me to be in films and stuff. So I wanted to document that and make sure I didn't forget that. Big reason I wanted to sit down and, and talk about this right now is because I'm going out to Seattle. Gonna fill up my brain with new experiences and things and wanted to talk about that before going out there. So my mom's gonna come pick me up pretty soon and take me to the airport rather than paying for parking at the Detroit airport, which they have this shuttle service at this parking lot. It's like 15 bucks a day, but still I'm going to be out of town for like five days. So that adds up. It's like 60 bucks or something like that. I'm drinking my iced coffee right now. I don't know who needs to hear this, but iced coffee is just coffee that was brewed hot with ice in it and it's cold. I worked at Starbucks and I didn't know that until I worked at Starbucks. But iced coffee is just hot coffee with ice in it. I don't know why I thought it was like brewed differently, but it's not. It's the same thing. That's it. And cold brew is just a different type of coffee, I guess. There's a way to brew it without it being hot. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's more efficient. I don't know. I think they taste pretty similar, but maybe I should do a taste test and figure that out i also found this book for free in one of those book mailboxes in royal oak so called ando a n d o i think it's an architecture book but it was totally free in one of those give a book take a book boxes it looks really nice i'm gonna put it on my coffee table or i don't have a coffee table but when i do this book's going on it so i bought the new backdrop for my cell tapes it's in my living room Next upgrade is going to be my tripod. I just have one of those little tripods that's like a foot tall. Then I have the ring light, but it's a little wobbly, so I need to get a nice tripod. Tried getting one from Best Buy, but it was not the quality I was looking for, so I think I want to spend a little bit extra. Might go back to Woodward Camera and spend a few hundred bucks and get a really nice tripod so I can really have a solid place to place my camera. For sure, I like that. That store is great. It closes pretty early at like 6 o'clock, which is fine. And I get it. And honestly, if you're running a store, those are some good hours for your personal life. So if like it's a good good work day to end at 6. I don't blame them. Like working later than that, you know, you don't want to. It's not ideal. But currently in my living room, it is Transformers 4 and the Fast and the Furious posters. But I want to change those. I'd love to get a Fight Club poster but that's another thing i bought a 1999 dvd copy 
of Fight Club, still in the plastic. I thought it was super cool, so I just wanted to add that to my physical movie collection. It's still in the plastic. It's been 24 years. It's about my age. It's a year older than me, and it's still in the plastic. Somebody kept that in the plastic for my whole life, and now I have it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been auditioning for some commercials, some industrials, some feature films. I'm sag after eligible, so I think a lot of union projects are still like interested in me, even though I'm not in the union yet. Someday I can't wait. I want to join the union, officially be a professional. That'd be really sick. And acting is just a really great side hustle. And a great way to express yourself and create art and artifacts and things. So I went to a golf course in Goodrich, Michigan and played my first ever full 18 hole game of golf with my sister and my dad. And I scored 160. And what I hear is that that's a pretty good score. So DM me on Instagram if you've ever scored lower than 160. And I feel like for a beginner, 160, which is 90 over par, is a great score. It's very respectable for your first for your first game of golf. Like par 70, final score 160. Like that's a good good stroke count. So DM me on Instagram at the Brian Andrus. If you've ever beaten that, I'd be curious to know, and I have a lot of respect for you if you've scored below 160. Let me know. I'm taking a free online coding class, and I created this thing on Scratch. It's a language they created for beginner coders. I created a game called Hungry Ladybug. And it's a game where a ladybug has to avoid this bird, and you have to eat 10 strawberries to win. If you go on my YouTube channel, there's a link in the video that is titled Hello World. In the description of that video, it's a link to my game, Hungry Ladybug. You can try to win. You have to collect 10. 10 to win. The song in the background is the song that they would play when you were waiting to get on the Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point. Unfortunately, the Top Thrill Dragster has shut down. Fortunately, though... They're replacing it with Top Thrill 2. I don't know if that's the working title or if that's the official name of it. I don't know if that they've had a roller coaster at Cedar Point that had the number two at the end, like a replacement coaster. But if you go online and watch the videos and the pictures of it and like the concepts, it looks just like the old ride, except there's a second part of it where you go backwards, you shoot up and then go back and then shoot back over. So it's honestly very similar and probably more exciting than the previous ride. But super pumped about that. Can't wait to go ride that. Cedar Point's awesome. What else am I doing right now? It's August 10th, 2023 today. BTW. So for the coding class, they're starting us with this basic language called Scratch. Then they just started teaching us about C, which you might be familiar with if you're into coding or you've taken a class in computer science but they start us on C and the goal is to eventually move from C where we're just learning basic functions right now to Python after that so I'm really excited I'm really enjoying it it's what I've realized is it's mostly algebra and problem solving and I loved algebra back when I used to take algebra classes so I'm really pumped about that so it's like problem solving and it's creative and I enjoy it, and you get to create a final product, and that's really cool. So we'll see. We'll see if my excitement stays there. I think you're able to create things. You know, you're able to use it as a way to express yourself, and it's cool. You can create things that have have utility and do things that are valuable. So it's pretty cool. And I'd really love to learn how to write code for a website rather than paying these third party services it'd be really cool to learn how to do that in addition to the fight club dvd that i bought i bought seasons one two and four of Mad Men. these box editions 
I bought the movie. Mo- I bought the movie Blow, and I bought Iron Man, the first one, and a card game, all at that store. So some good finds for sure. Bought a little bit more clothes too for the trip out to Seattle. I'm so excited. Gotta go pack my suitcase and my backpack and get ready for my Delta flight. All right, so I'm about to go fly out to Seattle. Depending on how long this is already, I might record after I get back. So stay tuned, and if not, I'll hear you on the... <laughs> stay tuned, and I might jump to later in life and record more on here, or I might record a new episode, so stay tuned for sure. About to go out to Seattle. All right, talk to you soon. All right. It's been a minute. Today is October 1st. Went to Seattle. Had an amazing trip. Amazing. Longest flight I'd ever been on. I think it was about five hours. Saw my sister and her fiance's house. My first impression of Seattle was like all the evergreen trees. We just had an awesome weekend party at the house and ended it with some video games and a bonfire to chill on the last day. Had a wonderful trip. Then a few weeks later, we went to, me and my family went to Niagara Falls. It's my first time at Niagara Falls. Beautiful waterfall. We were camping and I stayed at this campground and we all had tents and we slept in tents and we did not know but a train would go by around 8 a.m. I think it came by at like 7 (laughs) a.m. on one of the nights the last morning I think it came by at like 7 but which was fine because I'm kind of used to getting up early because of work now but that was pretty funny. We did this jet boat tour and it was sick. I highly recommend it. That was super fun. Also looked like a really fun job for the people that were giving the tours. A really good seasonal fun job. Obviously in Niagara Falls it gets cold so it's like a seasonal thing but it was a blast. I was amazed by how it looked. I got up in a perfect spot like I was in the gift shop by Niagara Falls. There's this giant building in this gift shop, and there were a lot of professional photos taken of the falls. And they were at this, like, angle that was really close. And I actually was able to get, I think, in exactly, like, where they take those photos with myself. And I had my Canon M100 mirrorless camera. Obviously not, like, an amazing camera, but it's a good camera. And I took a, a video of the falls, and I had to fight to get into, the, like, a good spot to, like, see it. Because there's so many tourists. We were there on, I think it was a Saturday, so it makes a lot of sense. But lots of tourists there. But, yeah, I just, I had, I had two great trips. It's October now, which is wild. Starting the last, last bit of the year. Hoping to end 2023 strong. I'm going to go to a coffee shop and edit this podcast. I just bought a domain name, inebriantstudios.com. If you don't mind, go check that out. It's going to be a website where you can see all the different projects that are being worked on by Inebriant Studios. So, yeah. Also, you can follow inebriant studios on instagram as well as myself at the brian andrus that's my personal instagram thank you for listening to this i'm gonna hopefully get this out today if not tomorrow and i hope everyone has been having a great 2023 and let's finish the year strong i'm gonna finish this Lacroix and head over to the coffee shop I don't know if I ever mentioned this. My last MacBook Pro, I lost because I dumped coffee on it. And I have this LaCroix 
next to my laptop. Gonna try to avoid that happening again, even though I do need a new MacBook because I bought this one used and it has a few little little things, but I think it's important to use what you have and keep working to get 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 going. You know, that's what I always say. Use what you got and get going. Brian Andrus. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Also, black raspberry LaCroix are awesome.